I mean, we all know there's a crisis of masculinity in the West. Uh, in the Man Up series, we look at, at the, the causes and the effects. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the effects of, of plastics and, and BPA have on, uh, on testosterone production and, uh, and estrogen in men. Uh, stand by for the true toxic masculinity. Cue the intro. Okay, so uh, testosterone levels in Western men and uh, and even birth male births in the West are are plummeting. The testosterone levels are plummeting uh, as much as one percent a, a year on average, uh, and we're seeing it in this young you know the the, the low T soy boy generation, the the David Hogue you know the noodle arm guy. Uh, there's there's a a decrease in in uh, and men being born, uh, uh, and and all this this sort of stuff, and no one can no one can put their finger on exactly what's causing this drop in testosterone. And and if you don't know, testosterone is an incredibly important component of of, of male health. Uh, you know, it, it helps us with our energy and our, our weight loss and all this stuff. Uh, so so it's incredibly important that we try to figure out why this testosterone is dropping because you know with, without a a dynamic, healthy male population. Our society is toast, and our society is the most dynamic and uh, uh, the best society in the world. I don't, I, I'm not afraid to say that. So we talked about fluoride uh, in, a, in an earlier video. Today we're going to talk about we, we were going to talk about BPA, uh, which is the one you've probably heard about. Now your BPA affects male testosterone, uh, and and they tried to you know take BPA out of some stuff and whatnot. It actually goes much deeper than just BPA. Uh, I don't normally get all uh, up in arms about about the health scares and stuff. Uh, this is one that I think there's some credence to. Uh, uh, so you, you, you've probably heard about how you know plastics get in our food and our bodies, and they mimic estrogen. Uh, and BPA is the one you've heard about. So I, I started going down the rabbit hole of learning about BPA and what it is and uh, and whatnot to see if I could try to figure out if there was was any real consensus about what was going on uh, and and what I found out was that BPA is just this one little tiny category of a much bigger broader uh, bunch of chemicals and it's, it's all plastic uh, and it's it's bisphenol is is the uh, the broad category of plastics, but there's all kinds of different bisphenols. So there's bisphenol A and S, and I believe there's a P and an M and an F and a G. And the more I got into it, the more I realized it didn't matter. You don't have to know all these details. Uh, they're all bad. <laughs> the bisphenol A, the BPA, BPA, the one we, we've known about, is just the most common, and it's the one that's gotten to be studied first. All the bisphenols can get into your body, and and they uh, they can act like estrogen. The BPA was actually tested as a uh, a uh, synthetic estrogen initially. It wasn't uh, followed up on because it wasn't a remarkably effective version, but it, it was good enough that they looked into it to use it as a synthetic estrogen. So BPA getting into your body as a man is a big deal. It also, uh, and not uh, we're going to go farther, it's not just BPA, all these bisphenols, I think I'm pronouncing that right, all these bisphenol, bisphenols can uh, build up in your body, and they actually build up in pregnant women's uh, uh, uterus and placenta and whatnot. Uh, and and in low levels, it, it's not a big deal, supposedly, allegedly. <laughs> uh, the, the more I go into this, the more I'm like, the Project 21 stuff is real. Uh, but it can build up, and, and, and at higher levels, it does have an impact. Uh, so, so this one, this one is real. You know, the fluoride one, I, I, I wasn't convinced about, but the plastics, the bis, bisphenol, and it goes farther even than bisphenol. There's something else called phthalates, and again, that that's my butchered pr pronunciation, but ph phthalates do this this as well, uh, and I, it's a different category of chemical, but it kind of gets in our our lives the same way. Where you know the plastics and the BP, the bisphenols and all this, they're in all the the, the the food wrappings and the plastic and all this stuff and even cans are coated in this stuff and and we ingest it that way 
the phthalates are uh, in uh, uh, hygiene products. It sounds like most anything with uh, fake uh, scent, you know, uh, has these phthalates in it. And then we go, you know, you, you, for instance, you'll have your spray deodorant and you'll spray your spray deodorant on your armpits and it's got these phthalates in it and you'll uh, uh, absorb it. Uh, carbon uh, heat receipts you get that, that have, have certain kind of heat printing on them, they have this, uh, these, these bis bisphenols on them as well. Uh, and you can get this stuff on your hands and absorb it through your skin. You get it on your hands, you transfer it to your mouth. Uh, we got these things all over the place and, uh, and, and we can get them into our systems and they can build up and start acting like estrogen in our bodies. Uh, now, is this the, the, the silver bullet? You know, is this what's killing uh, Western masculinity? No. Uh, but it's a significant contributing factor. So, I, I don't like to go into the hype and all the, uh, the fear factors. And, and if you start digging down the rabbit hole, it's just too much science for the, the, an average guy to, to consume. Uh, but, but what I could look at, here's, here's the strategies I'm going to apply in my life. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to microwave food in plastic anymore. Uh, it, it, it's, it seems like when you microwave it and heat it up and something, it's easier for this stuff to leach out. Uh, so if I'm, if microwave food, heat up food, you know, I'll be doing it on glass or, uh, you know, uh, uh, ceramic or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna. I don't know that you can avoid receipts that much, but I'm gonna try to limit my handling of the receipts because it sounds like there's a real clear path. On, on the the bisphenol on the receipts, you know, it, it's not. It doesn't sound like. The, the, it sounds like the problem there is that it's not connected to anything else. It's just sort of free, and it can get on your hands real easy, and then get into your your uh, in, into your mouth through your hands. Uh, I already don't use anything, you know, anything that would have these phthalates in it. It doesn't sound like. You know, if you're just using basic soap and stuff, uh, I'm not, I couldn't really figure out about shampoos or not, uh, but, but if you're not using, like, stuff with a lot of scents in them and, and uh, uh, colognes and whatnot, uh, it doesn't sound like you're getting exposed to a whole lot of those phthalates. So I, I already don't have those to cut out. If I had those, though, I would be cutting them out. You know, my old, you know if I was using Old Spice and spray deodorant and, and anything with uh, scents in it, I would be cutting those out of my life right now. And to be honest with you, man, I think that's all we really need to, to worry about. I'm trying to drink out of plastic cups a little less, you know, that sort of stuff. Maybe maybe not use plastic forks or something. Uh, but, but this isn't the silver bullet, but it certainly has an impact. I don't know how much of an impact. It may just be 5%, but if it's a 5%, you know, you, you would, you'd want to cut that out. The big contributing factors are still weight loss, uh, and, and act, you know, physical activity and, uh, competition. Those, those are the three things. If we could get those three things in our lives under control, all the rest of these things, the fluoride and the plastic and all this stuff couldn't overcome that. Uh, our, our, our bodies are well enough created, uh, that we can handle a lot of foolishness around the margins if we got the, the core issues right. So, so while I think the, the chemicals, the, the, the plastics, and these phthalates, they, they, have an, they have an effect. They have an impact. And it's a significant one, and we should try to counteract it in our lives. It's, it's, still, not the, it, it's still not the silver bullet, man. There's still not going to be a replacement for physical activity and accomplishment and uh, you know, competition. Uh, so, so there you go. Like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut out. Any microwaving with plastic, uh, I'm not going to heat up my food in plastic at all, uh, as a rule, as a rule. Uh, I'm going to try to limit my exposure to, to eating and drinking off of plastic. I'm not, I'm not going to get that crazy about it. Uh, I think for the most part, our, this stuff is, it's not like you just like swipe your food across plastic and it picks this stuff up. I think it's a little harder for it to, to get from the wrapper to the food than just physical contact. I'm not sure about that, but uh, I, I think you have to find a way to kind of transfer it to your food, then transfer it to your body, and then it has to build up. Uh, so it, it's not like we, we have to start 
living in a, in a completely or, organic, it would be good if we could live in a completely organic, you know, natural environment. But, but simply living with plastic and, you know, you, you couldn't go to the grocery store and buy food if you were trying to completely eliminate plastic from your food. Uh, I, I, I think it's the heating it up and, and, and in some of the ways where it can get from the plastic into your body is not as easy as they make it sound. The phthalates sound like, you know, the, the hygiene products sound like that's, that may be even the bigger deal because, you know, like if you're using spray deodorant, you're spraying it right on your, uh, you know, your, like your armpits and that's, that's an incredibly... Uh, sort of like not vulnerable but really poor not porous even but it's easier for things to move through there apparently the whole endocrine system and sweat glands and all this stuff uh, so it sounds like that if you're using things with uh, with uh, fragrances that's the word I've been looking for fra with fragrances in them uh, you really should probably think about cutting those out of your uh, your life anyway there you go man uh, I hope it's useful uh, we appreciate you thank you